Um, being a tall athlete, I guess some sometimes it's a, it's an advantage, sometimes it's a disadvantage. You have to change your tactics a little bit, change your st style of climbing. I guess that comes naturally, but uh, maybe some tips are uh, strong uh, body uh, core tension, obviously uh, in steeper steeper walls, uh, steeper climbing. Your feet will be very low, um, and when they cut, you get a huge swing. So. Uh, it's you have to cope with it like it is you know um, you have to be able to climb with a very low feet and at the same time sometimes with very high feet so, because in competition the, the smaller climbers uh, the, the problems are set for smaller climbers as well so obviously as as a tall climber you have to be a bit yeah crunchy sometimes so in terms of training that body tension and the, the core tension there, what kind of advice would you give to people? What kind of moves should they be looking at in their training? It's not specifically moves, it's just um, you, can do, you can do core tension in a lot of different ways. I mean, just uh, basic exercises or bad, using bad feet. Uh, feet on a steep wall is, uh, is very good for core tension. Yeah, that would be it, I guess. <laughs> what are some of the advantages of being a tall climber? What would come more naturally and easier for you as a taller climber? Um, uh, depending lead and boulder, it's, a, it's quite a big difference. I guess in lead, um, as a tall climber, you're on a not so steep wall, you're just standing there on your feet. You can reach a lot more than a small climber. You don't have to be so crunchy. Um, on bouldering, there's a lot less feet, less less features and stuff. And uh, so the, 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 it's a ball that decides where your feet come. You know, it's, there's, there's not always high feet and low feet, so you have to be a lot more flexible, uh, which I'm not. And in, in, in lead, um, I guess it's a kind of a bigger advantage in lead uh, to, to be tall in bouldering. Sometimes it can cause uh, some problems. Is that because it's more static in lead and you're, you're able to have the reach there then that maybe you won't need so much in bouldering? I guess bouldering is more versatile. Uh, you need a lot you know, you need to be good in every style, not like in, in, uh, in lead climbing you need good endurance and like a, a good, you, know, you have to understand the route and then you're, you're okay but in bouldering you have to be very good at a lot of different styles and then your hate or your yeah being tall it doesn't doesn't really bring you something all the time. Yo, thank you very much. No problem, cheers.